Hey everybody. Today we're going to do turbo logs. What, when, where, why, how. Um, why do you want one? How does it work? How do you build one? So, let's get started. Now, from the last video, it may not have been entirely clear how all this is going to work. So let me give you one more brief overview. The way I have it laid out there is pretty much it. I have these long radius, three. I have one short radius, Weldells. I have a 45, a straight piece that I cut today. And I'll actually get the dimensions for that for you guys. And a 90 that will go straight up and... The turbo will sit on top of that. So, actually, one second. <clears throat> I'm going to put a small extension on it here to put it up a little bit higher, keep it away from the valve cover. So, how I'm going to get started here is we're going to roll over to the uh, engine and we'll figure out how we want to place each of these. So let's go over there first. To start with I'm going to take my bare flange here and I'm just going to bolt it right up to the head so that we can see what kind of clearances we have here. So we set you down, try to find a good angle. Alright so I'm going to put the flange up here to my head I'm just going to use two bolts for this mock-up here. Doesn't really matter where they go, or where they come from, or what they know. What I want to be on the lookout for is clearance to my spark plug holes, clearance to my air compressor bracket, my air compressor clearance to my starter, um, which is the problem that I ran into with this other manifold that I was building this. It got to where it was right up against the valve cover, and I just really don't like it. So the thing that makes Trailblazer SS manifolds good for swapping into vehicles is also the thing that makes them not so good. So. Now I can take my compressor bracket here, and I know that it goes like this, okay, so right off the bat that tells me that this thing's not going to come anywhere near my compressor, um, it's not going to come anywhere near my starter. Next I want to take my little, one of my weld L's, and I got my spark plug holes here, okay. So I want to angle this away from the spark plug holes, but not so far that I can't get a ratchet in there. So let's grab a ratchet real quick. An extension. Alright, so now I got my spark plug, ratchet, and extension. And I can compare. See, if I go up too high with this, I'm not going to be able to get by it. So this is going to have to be something... pretty close to vertical in order for me to get if I go too far clock it up like this too far I'm not going to be able to get my socket in there to change plugs it's just going to piss me off every time I uh, need to change plugs now the real one is pointing out in the space and that's not going to be bothered because all that stuff's going to be out of the way but this one's kind of a little bit critical so We'll try to, uh, I mean, you want it to go with the flow. You want it to point up towards the flow direction, but you don't want it to impede your access either. So, it's going to be a little tricky. I don't have a TIG welder. I don't have a TIG welder here at home. So, 
I'm just going to tack it and then I'll take it to work and finish fitting it and grinding it. So for the purposes of uh, today's video, it's not really going to matter. This, you can MIG weld seamlessly, let me be clear. It's not like an undoable thing. You, you can MIG weld stainless, it's no problem. It's best if you use stainless wire so that your welds don't rust. And I'm slightly concerned that I'm not using stainless wire and maybe my weld is rust. Later. But I'm also going to coat these. here but uh I don't have the bucket part so anyway I got that tacked like that I'm half lined and we'll carry on it's not super sturdy hopefully it holds I'll just move on to the next one for now also Amazon sent me the wrong wire like four times in a row so I can't even take it to work and TIG it tomorrow. I'll have to wait till Friday for that. But hopefully I can get it fitted well enough for today that I can go in there and burn it in for real Friday. I'd also like to attach it. I want to attach these and then grind them to fit. I want to do that whole, I want to do the whole log portion also. I want to tack that together. Then I'll know exactly where I need everything that's my plan, at least, so. Hopefully it works out just like that. You know, I really don't want to. I'm going to put another tack on this. on there kind of dirty. You know, it looks like butt. I'm just going to repeat this process two more times. Try to keep it angled so that the flow is going because the exhaust is going to come from over here on the driver's side come up through the 45 and up to the turbo so you want to try to keep them kind of uh you know going that way it really doesn't matter like the pressure is going to force it to go where it needs to go in the end but like why not give it all the help it can get you know
at this point I'm not going to bother because I found that they're all coming out to be the same angle so might as well just make this one match the last one So there you have it, you get the gist. Now this last one's going to be really short, because the 45 is going to come down here. 45 is going to come down here, and this is probably going to butt right up against the 45. So this will wind up being cut. These two are going to be cut shorter. And then that one's going to be super scubby, because the 90 is going to sit right here. So let's head over to the bench and get the log portion tacked together too the best we can with what we have <clears throat> you know, everybody's gonna laugh at me for my crooked welding but whatever hope you guys are learning something at least getting the idea I don't know why but I thought this was just gonna lay here nice and flat for me and that's how I was gonna do the whole thing together but it's obviously not going to work so, like, best of luck to me, right? All right, now that I'm flash blind. Let's carefully flip her over. And do this one like you have a good point. This one I already spot welded to in the other video, so obviously I'm going to have to knock that off with the grinder or whatever. Should be good enough. I forgot to show you guys this little trick. This is a two inch hole saw. This is a 1.5 inch weld out. And that is hot as hell and just burn me. This is like they were made to be. I'm pretty sure that the hole that I cut in this hole saw in these pipes, wherever I need to cut them, is going to line up perfectly with these. So, 
I might have to open them up with a die grinder or something a little bit, but my plan is to cut my holes with this. So, you should have the general idea of log, right? Um, so let's go back over to the engine and take a look at how it's intended to work. Alright, so, should go something like that, except, you know, down here. I'm just going to have to cut these the best I can. I think I'll probably just cut them flat and then coke them like that so that they fit the curvature of this pipe. Which is not at 90 degrees. So let me show you how I screwed up. That's pretty obvious that it's not at 90. So I have to cut them off and uh, rotate one component or the other around. Or maybe not. Maybe it'll be all right like that. I'll probably just leave it till I get these little pipes ground. Um, and then obviously the short weld L is going to go straight from that port into the 90 here in my hand. Um, it's just going to come straight out like boop. So progress is being made for sure. Let's go ahead and recap real quick. So what do we have for the day? Well, we have the general outline of what this log manifold is going to look like. Um, this may not work. I may need a straight pipe. But we will see. Because it's looking like I want this to line up like this. I want that by my pinky finger I want that to hit right before the schedule 40 so I don't know if that little weld L is going to be able to bridge the gap between the 90 and uh, this or not but we'll find out on the next episode I guess if you guys have any questions be sure to ask be sure to like and subscribe and share with your friends and I appreciate you guys watching so till next time thanks again